Bedford has changed tons over the years. Now 100,000 people call Bedford home, 20,000 of them live in Kempston, and just here behind me in Great Denham, when they finish, they'll have built 1,500 new houses. That means a lot of fresh starts, a lot of new beginnings for a lot of people. And a new beginning is often a really good time to ask some of those really big questions about life. Questions like, where have we come from? Are we just the result of atoms randomly smashing together, a, a cosmic accident? Or is there some design, some purpose, some intelligence behind what we see around us? Once you start asking that question, where have we come from, then you start asking another question, where are we going? John Lennon said, uh, I'm not afraid of death because I don't believe in it. Death is just like getting out of one car and getting into another. Is it that simple? Is that all there is to it? In the film The Matrix, Agent Smith, the baddie, asks Neo whilst they're fighting. He says, why do you keep getting up? Why are you fighting? Could it be peace or truth or freedom? Could it even be love? What is the point of this short life that we have in the here and now? And as we all look around us, actually we look at a world and we see that it's not the way we'd like it to be. There are things wrong. It's another big question we have. What is wrong with the world around us? Is it, is it greed? Is it jealousy? Is it hatred? Or is it bigger than that? Is it ideas like communism or capitalism? If you were to play Sherlock Holmes, get the magnifying glass out and assemble the clues, what would your conclusion be? Because when you figure out the answer to that question, you can start to figure out the answer to the next big question, which is how do we fix it? Is it down to you and me each playing our part or do we need a superhero, a Spider-Man, a Superman to come in and rescue us? Or are we doomed? Are we like the Titanic after the iceberg struck? No hope left for any of us. But perhaps the, the most important question is how do you know? How do you make a decision about all these big questions? Do you use your brain and just think it out, use your reason? Or do you trust your feelings to know what is true? Do you trust what people have said for decades, centuries, or just go with the majority, the crowd? Wouldn't it be great if someone came from the outside, someone who could tell us the answer to some of these big, big questions? Someone who was knowledgeable, who was trustworthy, who was reliable. And as Christians, we believe that's exactly what Jesus did when he came into the world. He gave us answers to all those questions and we run Explore courses as a way to allow people the chance to explore what he had to say about all those different things. We only have one life and it passes very, very quickly. You might have lived here for a day or for decades. And whether you're a, a skeptic or a cynic, whether you're a believer or a searcher, uh, we'd love you to come and join us, uh, explore these issues together. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, we'll allow you to explore what Jesus has to say about these issues. But we only have one life. What is it all about?